So in Shroud of the Avatar, part of the crafting system is taking raw materials that you've gotten out in the world and then refining those into usable things. So here I've got 60 pieces of wood and some wood scrap and creosote. And I'll explain what, why those are there. So I'm going to come on to my milling station and I'm going to look for something with a recipe for something with scraps. This is where I can take maple, I can make maple timber from scraps. The reason why I want to use this is scraps cut down half the wood required. If I, were, if I wasn't using scraps, I'd take six maple wood, but now I only take three. I need two creosote, some wood scraps, and a cubit measure, which I had. You can make up to 20 pieces at a time. So you can go ahead and put in 20 on here, and it's going to go ahead and start tooling those away. And you'll see it start taking some of the materials on the right that are in my window over there and making maple timber. So every run I get two pieces of timber. This is the first part of the process where you take the base material, raw wood, and make it into raw timber. Now at that point we can also take the timber and make it into a fancier timber um, or more uh, timber that has more properties on it. I could take maple timber and make it into rock maple. Um, and that's just by adding some other components and I'll do that in another video. The reason why you have those specialty was for certain things like making weapons and, and whatnot, it will add attributes or enhancements to that weapon. If you're making a piece of furniture, it really doesn't, you don't want to take and waste the time on making a rock maple piece of, you know, a chair versus a maple chair. It's still going to come out to be a chair. But for things like weapons and all that, the different materials do add bonuses that are in there. But as it goes through here, and sometimes it'll fail, sometimes not. If it fails, you just lose some of the fuel that's due, like the crease, so you won't, you won't lose the, the base stuff. But that'll come through, and then um, depending on your speed, it'll take up a certain time, but you'll end up with something in timber. Well, next video, I'll talk a little about taking some of that base timber and maybe turn that into a fancier set of wood on there. Thanks very much. Take care.